Hello friends, it's Motsi here and it's time for an RPG tutorial using RPG in a Box. For this tutorial series, we're going to be starting from the very beginning, bare bones basics, to get an RPG created and delivered to all you in the community. This will cover a lot of elements of RPG in the Box as we go and we'll do it in small digestible pieces so you have time to learn and grow along with us. Now thanks to my supportive Twitch community, we have selected the theme of Foreign Prince Simulator. I have some ideas on how we're going to do this. For today, we're just going to learn some of the very basics on getting started with RPG in a Box so we can get a game running and show how easy it is to jump in and do game development on your own. Without further ado, let's jump right in. First, open up RPG in a Box and click Create New Game. Then name your game. Select the folder path for your project. And uncheck Import Example Content. When this is checked, RPG in a Box will load with an example project, but we want to start from scratch. So uncheck and click OK. Now let's get oriented. First and foremost, read the docs. Click the documentation link to learn more about all the things. Also, check out RPG in a Box YouTube channel, link in the description below, for more in-depth tutorial. Booyah! In the meantime, here's a basic rundown. On the top are main functional features of the game projects. For today, we'll focus on Quick Play and Asset Library. Below are the tabs. So many tabs. Just note they are here and they will lead you to lots of great stuff. We'll focus only on map editor and script editor for today. On the left, we have all the project assets. And on the right, we have the map based assets. In the middle, you see a dialog for creating new assets. Now let's make a map. Click the map tab, click new, name your new map and leave the tile size at 16 by 16 and click OK. Note, you have an empty map and nothing to add to it. So now we need to add some assets. Click the amazing built-in asset library. Click on the models you want to add. For this sample, I'll choose a little of all types. Once you've selected the assets, click import to add them to your asset library. And ta-da! Here they are, tiles, objects, and characters. Okay, let's edit this map. First, to get oriented, on the left-hand side, we see the map tools for editing. You have the tile placement tool for adding tiles, the select tool for selecting tiles and objects on the map, the connect tool for adding navigation to the map, and the paint bucket for replacing a bunch of tiles with different tiles. We'll worry about special features for these later, just know the tools are there. Now, click on the tile placement tool, select a tile, and start drawing on the map. Use left click to add tiles. Use right click to rotate your tile. Zoom with the scroll wheel. Use control plus the scroll wheel to change the vertical map placement. More on this in future tutorials. Click and hold the scroll wheel to rotate the map. And use shift plus the scroll wheel button to move the map around. Be careful you don't accidentally change the vertical grid by scrolling the mouse. Use the vertical lock button to prevent accidental vertical grid movement. I know, it sounds kind of funny, but uh, it's true. Okay, let's talk a moment about map navigation. These green lines are needed to let the game know the player can navigate to those places. Lines need to be connected to show a walkable path. Passable tiles like grass and paths can automatically add these lines. You can use the connect tool to modify the lines, which we'll talk about more in the future. We'll add a monster for funsies, and now we'll be ready to test our map. Before we go further, don't forget to click the Save button or hit Control S to save your map. Now, click Quick Play to get started. Ah, silly Motsi, you can't start a game without a start script. Time to learn about scripting. First, click the Script Editor tab and click New to create a new script. We'll call this one Startup. There's a lot to discuss about scripting, and for this tutorial, we'll stay light on the details, but let's orient. On the bottom left is the Script Tools tab. This has all the commands that you can use in RPG in a Box. In this top section, you'll see scripting nodes, which are used for the visual scripting capabilities. You can drag commands here and make connections easy peasy. 
Below the nodes, you'll see the Boxite code. Boxite is a custom language in RPG in a Box, similar to Python and Godot's DD script. We're going to go YOLO style and we'll be learning to write Boxite script directly rather than using nodes. Click the expand button to see all the scripty goodness and then click edit. Let's delete the hello world message so we have a blank slate. And now we can find the load map command on the left hand side using the command filter. Let's drag the load map command over to the script and we'll see the load map function. To load the map, we'll need a map name, a coordinate and a direction. We'll fill in the map name that we already created and leave the coordinate and direction exactly the same. Great, we're all done here. Click apply and save. Let's try quick play again. Select your startup script and character. You'll only need to do this one time. Bada bing, bada boom. We have a fully running game. Move around the map using the arrow keys or clicking your destination. Feel accomplished that in just a short amount of time, you have a running RPG. This is just the beginning. We have plenty more to come and I will keep people posted as I release more videos along the way. Also, feel free to stop by my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash makes to join along in the fun. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.